Welcome back once again, YouTube. We are going out of Sandini today on another episode of Return of the Dead Eye. This is the last Dead Eye. Heading out. We're going to do a hunt. We're going to head back, determine our return from that hunt, see how long it took us in order to calculate the earnings per hour. As you can see at the top of the video, I've already figured that out for us. So you can get an idea of what this hunt's going to be all about as far as our return. It's not a bad hunt. I'm happy at $300 an hour. Of course, I'd love to see $450 an hour, but we can't always be pulling that in. This is probably around average, $300, $350 an hour from what I find when I hunt out of San Anita getting birds. So, without further ado, here we go. The hunt is on. We're coming up on the spot here. It's quite foggy today. And after looking up at that bird in the sky, we looked away from the spawn here, which caused these other birds to spawn as well. That's kind of a mistake, because we're going to scare some of them away as we move in. We want to go up and get, get rid of these alligators is our first goal. If you do have any questions, comments, suggestions, please leave those down below. I'd love to hear from you. I've tr been trying to hunt this area with this new tactic that I discovered where you take an alligator out while looking out over the ocean and then when you look back all the other alligators are gone. There's nothing but birds left or sometimes there's no birds to start with and after doing this birds spawn in. I do have a link to that a video describing how to do that better down in the description. You can look for that. So after taking this gator out, we're calming this horse down. Because if we get off our horse when it's freaking out, it is going to run off as it's trying to do right now. See, we want to tell it to stay. We want to tell it to follow until it chills out. Because you cannot call your horse in this area. So paying close attention to how calm your horse is is quite essential if you plan on putting carcasses on it because it's going to run off if it's excited and then you're going to have to chase after it in order to get it back which often means leaving carcasses behind and by the time you get back to them they will have often vanished so keeping your horse under control is really important when you hunt this area so if we're going to take anything out of this video I would say it's that Pay attention to keeping your horse under control when you hunt this area. I really haven't got too much more to add. We're making this a vlog now, so our future videos will have fewer voiceovers. If there's going to be, you know, 8, 15, who knows, you know, even 5 to 10 hunts per day, then that's a lot of voiceovers to add. It's going to be hard to find worthy content to add as a voiceover. This is more or less just going to be video records of hunting methods in order to determine earnings over time and figure which method is right for you. Or possibly even suggest new methods for you so that you can add some variety to your hunting while in Red Dead. All that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if this is something you're interested in seeing. Also, I really appreciate those likes and shares, you know, you think somebody else would appreciate seeing this as well, why not share it with them? I guess that's about all I really got to throw there. You have a wonderful day, I hope to see you next time, thanks for watching, this is Last Dead Eye, signing out.
What can I do for you? Been a lot of that lately, but they always move. Let's do it. Done. I'll take it, but I've already got too many. <laughs> 